Hello, it's Brecken Z. Stevens. Uh, I'd just like to introduce the 2012 Stevens Volt. Um, Stevens being the second largest bike manufacturer uh, in Germany. Uh, why don't you hang out with me for a few minutes here uh, while I get into the details of why uh, here at 2hubs.com we think this bike is really neat. Early in 2010, uh, when Stevens uh, first introduced the Volt to us here at 2hubs.com, it was love at first sight. Uh, the bike just looked fast. Um, and obviously here we carry a lot of high quality products that we believe in, that we test, that we ride. But we also believe in bike hard. Bikes must also look good. And uh, you know, this bike speaks for itself. And those uh, clever uh, German engineers at Stevens Bikes uh, took the successes of last year's Bolt. Um, all the strong points and uh, neat characteristics to the bike and based on feedback from their pro riders and mechanics um, they made some nice subtle changes here that actually uh, really uh, ultimately ended up in a really good package here for the current 2012 Volt and I'll get into some of those uh, details here in just a bit. Now let's talk about how the Volt rides. Um, I have a few rides now here on the the Volt and I've been extremely extremely impressed. I'll be honest I'm not a triathlete at the same time I don't have that work ethic uh, to be a successful time trialist um, but with that said I've uh, ridden uh, plenty of time trial bikes and um, you know on my I have a, a frequent uh, training route that I do with some significant climbing technical descents and uh, surprisingly, riding the Volt here towards the end of the season when I don't have much form left and I'm approaching the holiday and you know, packing on a, a little bit more weight, uh, I was really, uh, really impressed to see that I actually went purple, as I call it, or basically uh, my total time on the route was a little bit faster with higher, higher average, uh, average speed. Um, so from a performance standpoint, um, yeah, the, the, the bike absolutely delivers. And, I think part of that is that the, uh, and here at TwoUps.com we call it the, the three necessary C's um, that time trial, time trial bikes need to uh, provide for you. Um, and I think the Volt was able to, to uh, hit, hit all three points here. Uh, one is control. Uh, the bike, it's a very, very stable bike. Uh, most time trial bikes, um, are, you know, you're not, you're not going to have that stability that you're going to have um, on the uh, on the bike compared to that you would experience on a traditional road bike. Um, comfort. Uh, I thought I was going to get beat up. I mean, you look at the bike and it just exudes stiffness. Um, and this bike here, uh, very very comfortable, as far as, even as far as vibration uh, dampening goes throughout the frame and also uh, torsional rigidity. Um, it. Uh, it, uh, and vertical compliance. It was just the perfect package there. And you know, being able to remain in that static position while being uh, comfortable and feel and in control, I had that confidence um, to basically remain in that position, stay aero without having a loud upper body. And I think that certainly contributed to my you know, higher average speed. So um, yeah, definitely, definitely an impressive uh, steed here from, uh, from Stevens. Updates for 2000, the 2012 Volt here include some uh, subtle changes here on the front end. Uh, it is a little bit uh, stiffer. I can certainly uh, feel that when I was uh, um, uh, pedaling out of the saddle here on the bullhorns. And also they did do a little bit of re-sculpting here on the front end to uh, further um, basically enshroud the, the front brake here behind the fork. Um, so, you know, just further trying to decrease the drag coefficient of the whole bike from an aerodynamic standpoint. Here at the rear, they uh, redid the, uh, the seat post uh, collar, if you will. They actually integrated it into the frame. Uh, definitely a little bit more streamlined and aerodynamic with this design. And also, uh, we found it has a firmer grasp on the seat post, um, a little bit more stiffer. Uh, I could notice that a little bit when I was, when I was uh, seated. Um, definitely, definitely noticeable. And what's also very important here is the frame was able to shed some weight. They did away with some internal uh, routing here for, for cables. Um, and also there is less paint on this frame, which cut down on the weight. But the reason why they did away with that is because the, these uh, 2012 volts are now uh, Shimano Di2 compatible. 
So that allows us to uh, use either uh, you know Shimano Di2 if you can, uh, or a mechanical um, you know traditional uh, group group set on the bike. Um, yeah, as far as uh, Di2 goes, um, I think it's uh, certainly a no-brainer here uh, in a, when you're running a, uh, a time trial or a triathlon uh, bike here. You're basically going to be able to engage your your gears and shift while you are in the arrow position. Uh, no longer do you have to uh, get back out onto the bullhorns or on the uh, outer edges of the handlebar to, um, with one hand to, to engage in the arrow position, um, which also, also allows you to keep in your position when you are approaching some corners. Granted, they're not severe enough, um, but uh, definitely, uh, you know, definitely the way to go, I think, as far as a uh, time, trial, time trial bike uh, grupo. Well, that concludes my review of the Volt by Stevens Bikes. Just remember, if you're that serious time trialist or competitive triathlete, uh, the Volt, with its stiffness and stability and awesome styling, will always be uh, working for you. Uh, should you have any uh, further questions about uh, any of Stevens Bikes, uh, bikes or uh, the Volt here, you can certainly contact us uh, directly here at 2hubs.com, info at 2hubs.com. Um, other than that, uh, make sure you enjoy the ride. We'll see you out on the road. All will be the same.